Hello and welcome to this edition of Wi-Fi Soft training videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to set up the billing module within Unibox. Uh, just to refresh the memory, Unibox is a hotspot controller and can be deployed for managing any public Wi-Fi hotspot uh, where you want to enforce uh, authentication or you want to set up a paid per use service uh, for your end users. So in this section, we will check how we can configure Unibox to, uh, to use the billing module for charging the end users and how the various settings can be configured, uh, the transactions can be monitored and reports can be generated. So uh, we've logged into Unibox controller. Uh, to configure the bidding module, uh, go to the billing section and under billing section, first and foremost, you require is uh, some sort of payment gateway. Payment gateway essentially are uh, third party uh, services uh, like PayPal, Authorize.net, WorldPay, and many others that are used for processing the end user transactions. So uh, any user who wants to pay for the service, either through his credit card, his debit card, or a mobile wallet, will have to go through the payment gateway to process uh, his credit card or debit cards. The payment gateways provide comprehensive services like fraud detection, uh, security of your data, and are also PCI compliant, which, uh, which is uh, mandatory for uh, payment processing in many parts of the world. So uh, the way you will have to configure your payment gateway is first contact your respective payment gateway provider and uh, get the login credentials or uh, the API information from the payment gateway. Please note that uh, Unibox uh, supports many payment gateways, but you will have to check whether your payment gateway is supported by Unibox before contacting your payment gateway provider. Uh, please also note that every country has different rules and regulations for uh, payment processing and you may have to comply with the local rules and regulations uh, while setting up your payment uh, gateway. So when you click on the payment gateway link, you will you'll be able to see different types of payment gateways supported within Unibox. For example, Authorize.net uh, is a US-based payment gateway, whereas PayPal is a payment gateway which is widely used uh, around the world. And then there are many others like Stripe is used widely in the US and in European countries. Paygate is used in South African region. And uh, Payflow is used uh, by, uh, again, by worldwide audience. Uh, it's again a service from PayPal. And some of the payment gateways like Billdesk or Instamojo are supported in Indian subcontinent. So we will, for, for simplicity, we'll take PayPal as, as a payment gateway. And uh, then for every payment gateway, you will have to have their corresponding uh, API credentials. So for example, for authorize.net, you will require the API login ID, you will require the transaction key and the currency for your, uh, for your account. So for, payment, for PayPal, you'll, you'll have to get the PayPal ID uh, through which you are going to process the uh, payments and then your transaction currency. And once you've configured your payment gateway, your billing module is ready to be used. One more configuration item you need to do is set up the billing configuration. This is essentially just uh, a simple configuration which will allow you to set up things like email notifications when someone registers for an account. So for example, if you want to uh, set up uh, notifications for your uh, end users that so that they get an email from automated email from your system when they register for an account you can set up the following uh, form so notify registrations and a new registration email will go to let's say any new registrations will come to admin at wifasol.com and you can select a sign up template a new registration template as a part of your configuration so 
this information gets saved as a billing configuration. The next step in, in setting up your billing gateway is setting up uh, your billing plans. Billing plans are essentially uh, uh, the, the kind of offerings you want to give to your end users when they register online. So for example, uh, if you are going to charge your end customers for Wi-Fi service, you want to set up plans like one hour of service or one day of service, or you can also configure the plans based on the data that the user is going to consume, for example, uh, one GB or five GB of data and so on. So uh, the billing plans are presented to the end customer uh, when they register for an account. So what are billing plans you set up in a Unibox will be automatically configured in the in the uh, captive portal that you configure for your hotspot. So let's go ahead and create a billing plan for your hotspot. So uh, to click a bill, uh, to add a new billing plan, first click on the plan section and then click on the plus sign. Then under the add plan dialog box, you'll have to select what type of billing plan you want to use or you want to create. So for example, the time usage plan will help you set up a plan where you users can use a certain amount of time uh, on the network. So here is an example of a one day billing plan. So you can set up the fees. Let's say I'm going to charge you $10 for one day of access and you have to decide on which hotspot this plan will be configured, what user groups the user will be added when they register for an account, and then the usage time. Let's say I'm going to give the user one day of service. And the validity will also be one day. Validity is essentially how long the user's uh, account will be valid, whereas the usage time is the online time that the user can get on the hotspot. So in case of a one day plan, both the values of usage time and validity should be one day. A short description about the plan. Um, so you can also define uh, certain speed restrictions of your users. So if you want to create a plan which is going to give users 1 MB or 2 MB of uh, upload speed and let's say 4 MB of download speed. So this will go ahead and create a new billing plan in the system. Similarly, you can go and add in new plans. So this is a one day plan. Let's look at how to add a bandwidth based plan. In case of a bandwidth based plan, you'll have to select the ba bandwidth usage plan. The bandwidth usage plan will provide users certain amount of bandwidth on the network. So again, this will be like one GB data plan and will be charged $5. And again, I'm going to select the controller and the user group and then the bandwidth limit so this is going to be 1 GB of data usage so I'm going to select 1 GB here and then I'm going to give a validity period of let's say one day for using of 1 GB so this is 1 GB of internet for five dollars and maybe same speed restrictions as what we had set up earlier so this creates a 1 GB plan in the system. So you can go ahead and add as many plans as you want, wish to uh, for your customers. Now your plans here can be easily searched uh, from the drop down list of, uh, by selecting the various options in the, fill, uh, in the search box. Now once the plans have been added, the next step here is to configure these plans in the captive portal. So set you, to set up your captive portal, go under authentication then on portals and then click on the plus sign when you click on the plus sign you will get an option to set up your captive portal to get more information about the portals watch our portal uh, video uh, which describes all the different types of portals you can create inside unibox so this is my paid portal so i've set up a paid portal again i uh, do just for simplicity we just put in a dash and I'm going to set up it as a paid portal so where I'm going to select a paid option the paid option uh, will also select a controller uh, on which this capture portal is going to run which is under default and then it is going to say welcome to 
cafe hotspot and you can give some instructions like how to set up your account and so on you can give it a footer like for example thank you for thank you for using our service and you can define your terms and conditions and then you can upload your logo and a background image of your choice the logo will be your company logo or the venue for where you want to set up the Wi-Fi hotspot and the background would be something in in line with what your customer wants to brand the hotspot most likely it is going to be like a background image of the of the venue or uh, a nice image that the customer shares with you once this is set up uh, your capture portal is ready you will go ahead and sit, uh, submit this and here you can go back to the list of captive portals that you have and you can preview your captive portal so this is the link to your captive portal I can just click on it and I will be able to see the captive portal so this is my cafe hotspot and here I get to see how to sign up so this when you click on the sign up option you'll get to uh, to select your plan this is just a preview of your captive portal so you have to go ahead and create, uh, set up a plan according to um, whatever plans you've configured will allow you when you set it up on a particular hotspot um, please remember that the captive portal will have to be configured for that respective hotspot by going in this section and configuring it for your particular hotspot then only that particular paid portal will become live uh, once uh, the captive portal is ready and uh, is live your end users are going to create user accounts in the system they are going to sign up online and create their username and passwords and pay online through PayPal payment systems that you have configured earlier all the users who are created will be created under the user section so here any user who registers will appear with a user type of paid when when they when they are charged the next step you would like to see is all the transactions that have happened against uh, this uh, against PayPal so in order to look at your transactions you will have to go under billing section and click on transactions in this section you'll be able to see all the transactions that your end customers have done so far both uh, the successful as well as the fail, failed transactions you can search for the particular transactions for from for particular dates or with a particular username or with a particular status um, and you similarly you can export all your transactions into a, an excel format so for your own record keeping or analysis lastly uh, you can also configure the email templates uh, that will be used when uh, for sending out emails automated emails to your end customers to set up the email templates under billing click on email templates and click on the plus sign there you can define a template for example you can set up an email template for new registration and you can give it a subject that welcome to our Wi-Fi service and there you can put in any free text whatever you want to so dear customer thank you for registering for our internet service and so on and you can also put in certain placeholders so for example you can define the use you can enter the username temp uh, placeholder or the amount that was charged to the customer the currency in which it was charged the date and time when the transaction happened the transaction ID all of these can be added as templates like this these templates will be actually substituted by the corresponding value before the email is sent to the customer so uh, by defining these templates and configuring these templates under the billing configuration you'll be able to set up automated emails that will be sent to your customers uh, when they when they pay online for the service this completes uh, how the config the configuration of the billing module in unibox we will also cover uh, how to look at various reports and we discuss about the reporting section uh, for now 
this module will help you configure the billing module uh, the billings uh, configuration inside unibox uh, uh, see you next time for the next uh, for the next uh, youtube training video until then thank you so much